everybody to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I'm your host, The Boss, and I'm just telling everybody some RLM tips out there about laughter and laughing, um, and laughing soothes tension. Laughter can also stimulate circulation. I guess you didn't know that one. And the muscle relaxation, both with which can help reduce some of the physical symptoms of stress. So you see, laughter can do something there. And it also can improve your immune system. A lot of people didn't know that either. And I'm not no doctor or anything. You know, I just did, did a little bit of research and looked this up. So negative thoughts manifest into chemicals, reactions that can affect your body by bringing more stress to your system and decreasing your immunity. By contrast, positive thoughts, you can actually feel better by laughing. So anyways, today I'm, you know, that's going to bring something contrast and what we're going to be talking about today. This is a special episode of uh, Real Life Matters. And we're in, this is this is the Real Life Matters Spiritual Enlightenment Series with Miss Edie. She is a spiritual advisor, intuitive healer, a life coach. You know, she's doing a lot of stuff. So, you know, everybody, you know, for her taking the time and giving people some reflection to know exactly what you, you know, it's okay to know things, but it's better when you actually hear how to do it. There's a lot of people out there having books and stuff and just telling you this, telling you don't even know what you're doing. And sometimes you're shy, but, you know, you could just ask her and, you know, and we're just, that's why I'm doing this series so that you can have the enlightenment and awareness so that you know how to do it and try to help yourself. So anyways, with no other further ado, I introduce to you, Miss Edie. Hello, Diva. <laughs> Hello, Erica. <laughs> And I didn't even even realize that we were talking, we we're going to be talking today about navigating contrast. And then also I did the, mm -hmm. with the, with the laughter, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's so a lot of people didn't know that. I liked it. It kind of tied yeah. us into the topic today. So <laughs> it's definitely exciting. And you look like the point, like you said about laughing, it's, it's a therapy, like laugh therapy, you know, giving yourself something to laugh at. That's why you watch funny videos or, you know, even America's Funniest Home Videos. They had those series for so long. And I remember part of a childhood was to come home and watch that. And we'd all just get together and have that laugh. And, and you all felt good. And sometimes you cried. Sometimes you couldn't breathe. You know, whatever it was, it, it gets you. And it's also important sometimes when we kind of don't have things to smile about to kind of create these moments of laughter. So that's kind of what we're going to talk today about contrast when we've got that polarity or duality in our life where we've got these amazing moments and we've got these tough moments but what happens when you're really kind of being sandwiched between both and I don't know about you but I've had a few of these moments so I know that that's what we're going to discuss is how do you navigate through these situations when you're inner energy. And it's great that you brought that beautiful point because, you know, you've got pain, you've got physical pain, maybe you had an injury, maybe you've got emotional pain, maybe you've struggled a loss, or maybe you're also just dealing with mental pain because you're so overburdened with stress. And then, like you said, that manifests in these negative thoughts, manifest into our body, manifest into our emotions, manifest into our physical being. And that's also, if you've ever read Louise Hayes, she's amazing. She talks about these situations, how they also have created and manifested into those physical pains in your body that have specific reasons and connections to emotional and mental pain that you are carrying, that you haven't released. And because you don't let it out of you, even through journaling or talking to somebody, it manifests and that's why we struggle. And so it's a really good point. So I'm glad you started with the laughter. So that's one tool for us to shift that energy. Thank you, Diva. All right, so we're going to get to now this, um, this navigating contrast. So, yeah. um, you know, people probably have a few different questions. We've got Linda and we got uh, Steve. They want to know, well, what's that? What does that mean? You know what I mean? They, you know, that's what, and you know, a lot of people might be talking about that. And some people are really shy about sharing. Well, what does that mean? Because they feel, oh gosh, am I, am I behind the eight ball or, you know what I mean? 
fair. And, and that's why we also do this because it's about enlightening people. And, you know, maybe you don't have the same question as someone else, but maybe you also are curious about something and knowledge is about the exploration of curiosity. So that's a big part too. So sometimes like even we feel like, oh, I don't know that. Well, what if you learned it? What if you explored it? Like you said, you did some research and you've been finding these amazing facts. And I love that you've been sharing it with your community. And I'm learning too. And it's really exciting to just see how these positive little awarenesses start to shift our well-being. And so when I'm talking about contrast, and I'm really excited. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Steve, for these questions, because I appreciate all of you. And feel free to comment them on the videos or feel free to reach out to DBoss or to myself through our websites and connect with us so that we're able to get back to you and talk about this. Contrast for me, has been a lot of challenges that I've endured. Now, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life. I know everybody has had different things. So we're not necessarily dealing with the same situations. And that's also why it's really hard to feel understood, to feel seen or heard by the people around us. And depending on what is culturally, culturally normal or what is also environmentally going on, these things get overlooked, right? And, and you know, if you've ever lost somebody, I, I lost my aunt this summer and it was really difficult and she passed suddenly to cancer and it was a very, very painful time. But at the same time that I was enduring that physical, personal pain and emotionally too, you know, I lost her, but other people around me didn't. So everything was normal for them. Everything was the same as every day. But for me, my world was struggling and suffering and I lost someone I loved and cared about very much. Much. But the contrast was at the same time, I had these amazing, beautiful moments where I got to travel back home to my home country, Hungary, and I got to be there for a little bit with her and I got to spend some time with her and I got to focus on the blessing that was also happening at the same time while still working, while still carrying struggles, while still lifting up people also that are also going through their own journey because you have to. When we're continuing that, right, you've got obligations. Some of us are parents. Some of us have children. And you can't slack or you can't stop because this is what you got to keep going through. But some days it's harder and some days it's tougher. So how do you navigate that? And how do you keep your emotions in check when everything just wants to flood through you? Or how do you keep your anger when you're in that frustrated energy because you're trying to navigate these obstacles at the same time? You're having these big wins or mini successes and how do you celebrate that and and that's what kind of brings like this uh, beautiful energy of humbleness but I find sometimes it's also a little humble humility because we go through circumstances that we do have to allow us to have that so I know that these questions we're talking about um Linda was asking for us to talk about what happens if you're losing a job and you've just made some big investments and how do you replace your income and how do you have something to help you restore that income while you're in this freak out mode, right? You've got this beautiful opportunity perhaps for a new job. So congratulations. It's a really great question, but it is a very scary time, right? You could be freaking out and in total fear and unknown and maybe you're applying to different jobs frantically and then they're not working out for you or you left one job for another and it's not what you thought. These are all real situations that we all experience. And then it's like, what do you do to keep your cool? What do you do to keep yourself centered and grounded, but also focused on the goal? Because there's all these other things that are trying to distract you. And we talk about it sometimes, you know, D-Boss has talked about it too with our naysayers <laughs> or our haters or the people around us that are perhaps not positively enforcing our our dreams and our journey. And of course, it's easy from the outside looking in to have opinions, but it affects us. It affects us if you let it, if it affects you. And sometimes you're on that alone. And I, that's kind of what I wanted to touch base on. So thank you for that beautiful question, Linda, because it is very powerful for us to understand that, yeah, there's some really big commitments that we make. And then there's something that happens. And it's like this bubble just right? It disappeared. That certainty that, it, you know, losing a job, getting laid off, that's a very common thing with COVID, with everything that we just went through. Uh, a lot of us worldwide struggled. I did too. So Linda, I'm sorry that you experienced that, but, you know, losing our, losing our ability, like I worked for a travel club and all of a sudden we can't travel. The whole world is shut down and businesses went 
out and they lost billions and I had to start over and now I'm stuck at home. So what can I do from home? I had to look around with what I had and then I just used what I had around me and it ended up bringing a whole new opportunity. So for us and anyone who's in that situation or similarly, maybe you're thinking of leaving a job that you're not excited about anymore. What is maybe a hobby that you do that you're passionate about that could create an extra flow of income? Because sometimes we think we are only good at one thing, or sometimes we also think that we can only do one thing. But I encourage you to also explore new talents, learn new skills, and create new ways of expressing yourself that might even surprise you. And sometimes that comes through the contrast of major disappointments or major setbacks. Uh, sometimes it could be you're stuck at home with an injury, or maybe for you too, you're stuck at home with COVID. Maybe you got it, or maybe you're enduring something health-wise that is preventing you from physically making those choices that you want. But how do you keep your mind positive? How do you keep your thoughts positive and focused on the direction you want so that you don't get lost in that pain or depression or anxiety? So there's different techniques, of course, obviously, for anyone who's really struggling with your mental health D boss, I always love the opportunity to talk about code purple. So if you are struggling, I encourage you to participate in your rescue. And I have this beautiful resource list of 195 countries, hotlines, crisis intervention lines, veterans helplines, and all sorts of other resources for LGBTQ communities, as well as youth and any other forms of domestic abuse. We have all the resources that we know of. So please feel free to connect us with new ones if you know some that we don't. But these are all verified by my dear friend who also put this together with me, Tyler Renee, and they're all verified real resources. And we just put it in one spot. It's a safe space on my website. So if you know someone who's struggling and perhaps you're having some really difficult emotions or thoughts at this time. So I just want to encourage you that there is contrast. So when we think about like, how long do I have to go through this? Why is this happening to me? How do I get out of this situation? Well, it's also encouraging you to focus on the blessing that this is creating and it's creating a new opportunity for you to do something different. It's calling you to make some new moves. So we got to navigate that. And that's kind of what I like to do with my clients, because usually most people come to me when they've lost something or someone and they don't know how to function. They don't know how to move forward or because something happened. And then all of a sudden, all these, you know, like, for example, if you're at this job, and then the two people around you didn't show up at work today, or someone got fired, or someone quit. Now, all of a sudden, you're doing all of your work, but now all of their works on you too. And how, how do you deal with all of that, right? Like, yeah, instant promotion, but also at the same time, the contrast and it is like figuring that out. So these are just some quick little examples. But D boss, thank you for letting us answer that question today. And I and think you said there's one more too. Yeah, um, somebody um, wanted to know, like, you know, in school, with school, you know, you know, the, the you know, in school, gets the COVID had hampered a lot of people in their school, yeah. so they started, they started to think, well, what do I do now? Right, and that that was so, like, what do I do now? When yeah. it's the yeah, when, when when school, you know, I'm in university. I couldn't finish when I was supposed to. I, I was supposed to do my internship, but with all these closures, so you know, how does he navigate through that? Yeah, and that's a tough place, Steve. So we really hope that you're yeah. able to finalize that. And at the same time, we have the blessing, the contrast, right? All of a sudden, all these things were denied. All these things were delayed. And sometimes, you know, like they said, like that affected you graduating. That affects anybody being able to complete their requirements for their degrees or diplomas. or And, and that was also maximized by the fact that everybody was shut down and it's also out of your control right and how scary is that you can't start working in your industry until you're certified in it but you can't get certified until this so that must have been a whirlwind of emotions and worries and of course financially you know you're waiting for that reward to come back from your investment so what would you do how do you navigate that well hopefully there's ways that you're able to today find resources for you but it's also calling you sometimes to take on on something else, maybe an additional job, but then why would I take on more work when I'm trying to finish this? And, and maybe you're already working another job while you're in school. And it's about finding different techniques or strategies 
most schools now are kind of back to the system. But again, like you said, it's the backlog because so many people got delayed. So many grades are either behind or students didn't get the attention they needed. And this goes for all age groups because that was kind of a big part of the contrast is parents couldn't go to work because their kids couldn't go to school. And then now everybody's stuck at home and, and in some environments that was healthy and that was safe. And for others, it wasn't. And for others, it was very difficult. And this is also so like, how do you function when everything around you is shutting down? So keeping some positive tools always helps us. And that's something that I definitely teach people, even just how to learn how to make yourself be able to stay on task. You know, it's easy for us to get, I'm going to say lazy, or perhaps procrastinate, or perhaps delay it. And then, you know, you you wait, or we make excuses, or we blame out external resources or sources. And this was this was a global pandemic. So there was not one person that was not influenced in a positive way or a negative way. And a lot of people had very negative experiences. So we're kind of experiencing that trauma. Now, for the schooling specifically, obviously, like staying on task and learning if the different resources that are available to you. So I truly do hope that that's something that will change. But there's also a learning in this because the delay was also implemented and it was out of your control. But you're able to do these new, perhaps maybe a different thing, maybe you've even shifted right? Maybe sometimes this is also that sign that people think, okay, well, maybe this isn't what I'm meant to do right now. But it's something you can come back to when it's available. And that's why sometimes even for myself, like, you know, I, I tried out for the RCMP after I finished my universities. And it was it wasn't what I it wasn't what I wanted. And then that contrast of spending six years of university financially, emotionally and mentally to then not do it was was really painful not just for me but my family and everyone who knew that that was my dream and then in a way it was a great dream because it taught me a lot so i do relate with you in the sense that i'm not doing what i studied and i'm not in the career that i wanted and thought i was starting in but you can find your way to where you need to be so maybe this was also a stepping stone or a starting block and in one way it is a blockage so you're also learning how to move around this or learn how to do something different because now you're being forced to so you don't have an option it's a forced end which is creating a new beginning, which is also another episode we talked about. So that's how you can kind of find the blessing in disguise in situations that perhaps it's leading you to try a new hobby. And I'm really excited because that's that's something that we get to start. And D Boss, was there ever something that kind of, you know, what was what was one for you? What was a situation that you had like that was really difficult and at the same time you had these amazing things happening and you had to kind of self-control and 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 hold yourself in that poise during that or perhaps keep your form in something where where it was really hard. Well, I guess when um, I can say when I was modeling and stuff like that, that was something that you you did. I was shy. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and and but when you were modeling, you had to you, you couldn't be shy. You just had to come. You had to be that part for that mm -hmm. time, and you had to go through it for that time. But at the same time, you were. I was going through. I was going through a lot of difficult things with with people and um a lot of jealousy and stuff like that and i had to just keep going on with the show and you know the, sometimes they would hide your shoes and hide all different kinds of things to inhibit what you're supposed to do but you had to um, you had to overcome that and you had to still go out there and just keep doing do and just keep going on with the show yeah so that was something that you had to stay in in form and yeah. navigate through all those difficulties even though, and then to the, you know, to the show, the show must go on. So you guys keep going. <laughs> That's perfect example and like maintaining the confidence, maintaining the status, like, right, because you have a role to play. And, and especially this, this was the best example, right? You know, you've got all these factors, whether it's childish influences or yes. people, like you said, taking advantage or trying to disrupt your success. But part of the success you achieved was by staying consistent. And, and I like how you shared that because sometimes we have to become 
and pull these qualities out of ourselves that we don't regularly possess. And that's exactly what this is a perfect example for this, because you had to navigate to become that person when all these other elements or situations were kind of like pushing you you know, back and holding you back and, and trying to knock you off your path or knock you off your game, if you will. And that's kind of what we all experience. And that's an excellent way for us to bring this in because we had to find ways in those moments to stay on our target and not let that inhibit us, not let yourself get thrown off or upset or hurt. And I can only imagine, right? Like there's so much competition and, and in every world, it, whatever you are in, in that niche, in that category, in that world of your business or in that sport or in that adventure that you're on, there's always going to be people who will either be friendly competition or will also challenge you. So you were challenged in that moment, right? You were challenged in order for you to succeed. You had to endure this. So for, for, thank you for sharing because that's a perfect <laughs> to tie that in. <laughs> All right. So if people want to, um, you know, they can come to you for, you know, if they want to do this, you know, navigating your contrast, that's, that's another thing. So they can, if, if people haven't seen the videos um, and the, the interviews before, you know, I suggest that you can go back to see some of them on the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel and, and on Missy Edie's. So um, where can they find you at if they want to reach out to you? Thank you again. And it's on uh, missed.com. So you can find all that information there. And again, you can book my services. You can check out my free available resources online. We also have YouTube, TikTok communities, and also Instagram and Facebook. So do follow all the links, but please use the links that we provide or the ones that are associated with my website directly. Unfortunately, there is a lot of impersonation out there. So always, always use your discernment and double check that who you think you're talking to is who you're actually actually seeking. And that's also something in the contrast too, because sometimes you might get played by the fakes. And in one way, that's a very powerful message for us to end on this, because you need to stay true to yourself. And when other people are trying to push those buttons, really know how to hold yourself in that beautiful commitment that you have to your goal, to your achievement and to your success. So if you're looking for any ways for me to help you through whatever you're dealing with, you can book with me, you can get a session with me and just stay plugged in and maybe check out some of these episodes like D-Boss said. So thank you again, D-Boss, for having us on this spiritual enlightenment journey together with the RLM family. It's an absolute blessing to be here. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, good night. Bye for now.